all dandy folks, it is Dinecast Buffet here again. Today we have one of the uh, most awesomest bush cars ever. It is literally the Bush Beer Dog Brew. I'm not making it up. It is beer for dogs and we got a die cast of it. Wow, this is going to be a cool piece. Let's go ahead and check out this uh, woofing good die cast. Here we go, folks, right out of the good old package, and check out this freaking die cast. If your dog's not drunk yet, just wait, because this one is one of the coolest freaking cars ever, man. This ran in Talladega back in the springtime of 2021, and I remember when they revealed the paint scheme, the hype leading up to that event, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. They're, they're making bush for dogs? I mean, are you kidding me? This is hilarious. And I was really concerned the die cast was not going to get produced. Sure enough, we got the dog brew die cast. Look, this is going to be one of those paint schemes that you're... you're I don't know if it's going to dry up. I don't know if they're going to overproduce it until the cows come home. But this is just a cool freaking paint scheme. You got Bush Dog Brew right there. Gonna, what is it? A golden retriever having a jolly good time. Probably drunk as a skunk. Uh, <laughs> you got the Ford logo there. Mo uh, Mustang. Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, I get number four right there. I must say the aesthetic to this die cast is actually very nice. It's kind of a dark red, kind of a, a, a uh, what do you call that? Kind of a light tan with kind of a, a sepia brown aesthetic to it. Kind of a vintage look. And I, I tell you what, it looks really nice. Um, regardless if it had doggos on it, uh, it still looks fantastic as a, a kind of a variation from the normal Bush car that we're so accustomed to seeing. Got the Kevin Harvick logo right there uh, with the uh, American flag, Mobile One. Ford, Haas, uh, Hunt Brothers Pizza, and Rush Truck Center. So this is probably, I mean, this is just hilarious. Like, the, I, I remember the commercials uh, for this die cast, and they're literally open up a can of bush and they pour it in a dog bowl. It's like, are you kidding me? This is so funny and so cool. Even the doggos get a little bit of bush. Uh, but, I mean, it's marketing genius, man. It's just so funny. And there's a sign here. I, I can't read it. So let's go ahead and let's see. Oh, that's pretty cool. It says, I break for squirrels. That's funny. Haas, Jimmy John's, Hunt Brothers Pizza, hashtag Bush Dog Brew, American Ethanol. Look at the paint scheme for this. I mean, does that not remind you of like a nice autumn, fall day? Just beautiful, beautiful. You got the doggo behind the number four, which looks pretty cool. Uh, I got the, uh, got the Goodyear uh, logo there with a nice dark blue Cup Series race car. Let's go to the back end of this car here, guys, and... Check this out. You got some uh, some doggo bones back there. That's pretty cool about it. Um, if you haven't picked up this car, guys, what are you doing, man? This is th this diecast is easily the top dog uh, in terms of Kevin Harvick paint schemes. You got to get you one. Uh, go over there to Circle B Diecast. Should still be in stock. Not sure on that one, but I mean, if you, hey, if you see anything cool over there, get your 2022 next gens uh, pre ordered. They're coming soon, guys. Uh, make sure you get free shipping with the promo code Diecast Buffet. Uh, link down below that. Number four, Mobile One. I don't know why, but the Mobile One decal there kind of reminds me of like a metal sign, like the squirrel logo there. So I kind of like it when it's kind of crooked there. It gives it a kind of a three-dimensional vibe to it. Very, very sharp. The spoiler is painted black. And you go to the right side of the die cast. And this is just one of the coolest freaking paint schemes ever. The Bush Dog Brew. I mean, who in their right mind would ever think they'd make Bush beer for dogs? It just, it's funny. It's This is marketing genius. It's, it's perfect. This is... This is why people love the Bush paint schemes, because they truly come out with some hilarious stuff. I love it, man. The Kevin Harvick paint schemes, the last, uh, I would say, three to four years have been top-notch. Got the number four once again on the roof. I love the color palette for this paint scheme. It's so different. It's so unique. Very reminiscent of the Outback paint schemes. Now that I think about it, you got the number one, uh, mobile one right there. A little bit of outlining to it. Harvick, Bush, Dog Brew. Very very cool stuff here guys look this is a die cast that absolutely i recommend again i don't know how many they're making of this car obviously with it being a alcoholic die cast i don't even know if this stuff actually has alcohol in it i don't think it does to tell you the truth but nonetheless it still makes a funny uh meme so to speak but uh, uh this die cast is not going to be in the authentics line so the only way you're going to be able to get this is in the gold series you're going to have to order it there or pick it up at your local racetrack but nonetheless guys this is a awesome freaking die cast here and if you're a if you are a dog fan you like poopers you like doggos this is a great freaking die cast for you guys this is awesome um i would like to see them make something for cats as well just to just to make it even more funny <laughs> 
but the, the the creativity with this paint scheme, I love it. I really do. I've always been a fan of the Kevin Harvick Bush paint schemes, and they remind me of the Kyle Bush um, M&M's paint schemes, the Skittles paint schemes, the Snickers cars. Uh, when you have good marketing like that, you just can't go wrong. This is how you connect with the fans. This is how you market your product. You know, I remember when they went from Budweiser to Bush Beer, and I thought about it. I'm like, why would they ever get rid of Budweiser and NASCAR? And what they were doing is they were just completely restarting the Bush brand in terms of the you know the millennial generation, and now it is it is so popular. Um, so it was marketing genius when they switched over in what was it 2015 or 2016? They went from Budweiser uh, to Bush on the number four. What do y'all think, guys? Make sure to give the video a huge thumbs up if you can. I greatly appreciate y'all uh, tuning in. We got more Kevin Harvick stuff coming up on the channel very soon. Got two more diecasts here. I uh, will show you. Got the Bush Light uh, Ford Mustang, uh, Bush Apple you know, Ford Mustang. That is got that coming up. 2021 edition. We got another one that's very similar to the next gen car, uh, the Bush Light The Crew, arguably the best Kevin Harvick paint scheme of 2021. And then we have the Bush non-alcoholic the bush in a diecast which ironically enough comes on a base i believe which is funny anyways thank you all again so much for watching hope you're having a uh, howling good time out there and i'll end the video on this what is your favorite kind of dog what's your favorite one retriever schnauzer golden retrievers yorkies whatever the biff i love all dogs i think they're pretty cool have a great one everybody diecast buffet signing off